very good morning everybody and welcome to the Potters Resorts 2022 World Indoor Bowls Championships live from Hopton on Sea. Well this next game is another World Under 25 semi-final, it's Lyndon Sham of Hong Kong facing Darren Weir of Scotland. So let's have a look at what we have for the rest of today. Well at one o'clock we have the first of our World Open single semi-finals, it's English qualifier Wayne Wilgress against Paul Foster, shortly followed by Les Gillett against Alex Marshall and Bean. So our match officials for this next game, our marker is Francis Fletcher, the umpire Dan Blewett and on the shot clock is Mike Davies. Let's go live now to the famous portable rink and join our MC, Mr Jack Jenkins. Thank you very much Jason. Yes, the first of our players out this morning is a former World Singles qualifier. He has several national titles to his name, including previous under 18 singles champion. From Scotland, please welcome out Darren Weir. Hong Kong. He was a World Pairs qualifier and is a former National Pairs champion. Please give a big warm welcome to Lyndon Sham. Back up to Jason Parkinson. Well, thank you very much, Jack. Once again, a very good morning to you all. Thanks for joining us. Well, another great game here. Six and a half players pieces. just 22 years of age. Darren Weir from Scotland in the green. Plays out of the Adrossen Bowling Club. No stranger to the portable rink, Darren. He played here last year in both the singles and the pairs. Also did the under 25s as well. So he's had a bit of experience, what the rink's about, what the crowd's about. Lyndon, well, he plays some top class bowls in Hong Kong. Currently a student. <coughs> to the Hong Kong youth development squad there. Quite a few of Lyndon's friends and family on from Hong Kong. A very good evening to you over there. Thank you for joining us. One green. Lyndon's last ball, Jack High. Uh, six inches past Jack High. One green. One green. So, not a bad opening end here from both these players. Darren's playing with the Henselite Tiger for those asking. It's playing with the Birds, which was played in the, the last game. That's 
Bobby just managed to sit in for another. Two green. Yeah, two. Lyndon's playing with the hence white Tiger Evo. Just an ever so slightly tighter line than the uh, the Tiger. Just not going to get back because of the extra pace. So it's going to be two to Darren. Two shots, Darren Weir. <laughs> Zero two, first end. It's great to see the overseas players playing this event. Missed them last year, obviously, due to all the, the travel restrictions. Managed to get three of the countries here for this year's championships, which was fantastic to see. Lyndon came over to play with her uh, Ken Chan in the that pairs. 27 metres. Led very well. Went all the way against Alex and Paul. Had quite a, quite a big break. One red. Yeah, it's just got back enough to get the first shot. Still maybe 13, 14 inches away from the jack. 10 inches short of jack high. 10 inches short of jack high. Darren, of course, left handed, so he'll play his forehand. Plenty of room around this front bowl. It's a good four feet down. Yeah, he's played it well. Green. Ooh, very good effort. Just One green. Foot of pace, that's all. Couple of options. He can stick with the draw if he wants to. He can play a little bit more positive. I think he's still got two seconds. Well, he's better pace, I think. He's nearly drawn this if it reaches. Very good effort, just falling away. One shot, Darren Weir. Sense 
score zero three after two ends. Darren Weir was the Scottish under-21 singles champion three years in a row. That takes some doing out of Scotland. Some amazing talent. Oh, great start. Very good opening bowl. to just get inside the green has done <laughs> with a shot Great ball. nice took on the jack available for for darren one red get back in time. It'll be very close. If it sits down, it'll stand a chance. One red. Well, something very similar just needs to just tighten the line a little bit. Gets to Lyndon's, he'll get the shot. Jack would be a great bonus. anything beating his own last ball surely should get him second shot if he can just get to it and sit it down that will stand a very good chance as well oh good effort they're just lacking a foot of pace one shot Lyndon Sharp on to Lyndon he'll get on the scorecard and have a choice of the length set score one three after three ends Hong Kong do have some excellent indoor bowls facilities. They qualify on an indoor surface. Not all overseas qualifiers do. Don't have that luxury, unfortunately. Some of them qualify on outdoor grass greens or artificial that means greens. 26 metres. There is quite a few nice clubs in Hong Kong. I had the pleasure of going there myself two or three years ago. Fantastic youth team as well. So, looking for a good start.
two green. Well, must be down a very decent track. Just don't think he's going to make make the trip. He's found a decent line, just the pace. The chance for Darren just to put a bit of pressure on. Three green. Well, a bit of a loose end, and Darren's going to make him pay here, unfortunately. Still got two and a half feet just to make a, a three. Four shots, Darren Weir. Actually, a full house. Go one seven that is a big end. Great lead for Darren. Lyndon just needs to settle a little bit more to start trying to play a little bit more consistent. Still a few ends to go in this first set, anyway. Track length 24 and a half metres. The final of this competition will be this evening, half past seven. Daniel Poole has already booked his place in that final. Two red. Yep, two for Linden. Still a fair bit of room though. looking getting just underneath this green ball with very good pace wants to just miss it always been unlucky one green in a target or a clean miss would have been the shot but that green ball is looking a little bit vulnerable in this end Darren will be 
be aware of that. Yeah, it's pretty One well green. tucked away there. One shot, Darren Weir. Set score one eight after five ends. Length 26 metres. This can't be too far away. Just needs to get up to the jack. Oh, good ball. Good opening balls from both these young players. Just stay with this, try and get to the nearest bowl of Darren Weirs. Just slightly past the jet would be good. Well, the line looks good, just needs to reach. One red. See what Darren's trying to do just down this forehand, wants to get under the front ball, turn this solid onto the jack. Oh, what a great ball. That wasn't an easy ball, but he played it very well. One green. I think Darren maybe just leave this, stick with his hand that he's playing, finish just slightly past the jack, just in case Linden does something. There's a bit of danger for Linden, but the way the scoreline is in this set so far, the ends are ticking down. He's going to need to start trying to create himself more than single shots. Yeah. Yeah, it's a well thought out bowl that. See what Lyndon's trying to do, he's trying to get just that just arriving place either just on the, the inside edge of his own and flick Darren's away or back onto the jack and come with it. By Darren placing that bowl in that position, that kind of forces Lyndon to play that more controlled, difficult pace.
Well, how quick is he? Needs to get up now. He can work off his own red bowl. Has done. Oh. Yeah. That's a great bowl that was. Not quite sure if he's done enough though. Yeah, One shot, Darren Weir. Let's go 1 9 after 6 ends. So, Devon Weir just extends this lead. Dan will just need to score on this end, and that will be enough to secure this first set. Track length 27 metres. Just wants to run another 18 inches. One red. Four in front, London's ball, that's a short. It's short by 10 inches, five and a half inch gap. One red. Well, just ever so slightly slip through. You can see what he's trying to do, just get back to the jack. Well, if it stays up, we'll have a chance. Two red. Yep. So, two to red. Darren will just play something very, very similar. Just concentrate on getting the shot. Touch on the jack. Well, that would be a great bonus and will definitely put Lyndon in trouble. Darren obviously only needs to score the one. Well, big chance here. Anything inside that back green bowl will be enough to count the three. good again I just don't think he's reaching no oh, perfect line so it's going to be a double for Lyndon two shots Lyndon Cham so six adrift going into the last two ends let's go three nine after seven ends now 
you have to just think about this slightly. Play something completely different. Just try and throw Darren off a little bit. Throw the mat up three meters. Chat length 24 and a half meters. just gets top side of this he has done oh well played <laughs> just shows you for any of those you know newer players out there sometimes when a ball is just slightly short and what you would think is in the way decent pace you know around it or inside it sometimes you just have to play as if it's not there you see so many people swapping backwards and forwards you know into different hands and that obviously automatically messes around with your weight a little bit so it just shows there have the confidence, play the good line and the good length. One green. Linden just playing a little bit more aggressive at this. He knows he needs at least two shots. Wants to get anything solid on the bowl or the jack. It wasn't a million miles away. Got the best two bat bowls. Darren will just cover those. green. I think Lyndon's got both spots covers but he does need to make the two. Even if he plays same again he's gonna have to be very very accurate. And slightly quicker. Yeah just going underneath so it's gonna be one shot to Darren Weir one and he's gonna take this first, set, first Darren set. Weir. Ten shots to three. We're just going to reset for this second set. Don't forget, we'll be back live with you on the BBC at 1.30 this afternoon. Join David Corkill and John Price for the first of our World Open Singles semi-finals. What a cracker. It's going to be the English qualifier who won the Bromley event, Wayne Wilgress, taking on five times winner of this event, Paul Foster, MBE. Very interesting, if my memory serves me correctly. I think the last time a qualifier came I through and won the World Championships, I think it was Alex Marshall, the very first year that it was played here at Potter's.
go in early. Bowl all the jack. I think he's got the jack. Oh, good hit. Just got a little bit of a deflection, so Lyndon's bowlers left the confines of the rink. Let's have a little look where the jack is. I think it stayed probably somewhere in the middle of the two. Yep. That's a good start at that one. Okay. So, Lyndon's got to be careful here, doesn't want to drop a loose two. Let's just guarantee second shot. Well, can he just beat this green bowl? <laughs> One shot, Darren Weir. Yep, just the one. Zero one, first end. Length twenty five and a half meters. Darren's having a look at this. Ooh, very good effort. Good second ball. Lyndon can use that ball exactly the same as his previous delivery. Sit against it for another. See, just on the outside of the mat there, just allows the ball just to bend that a little bit more at the end. He's right handed, so he'll get a completely different line, obviously, to Darren's that's playing with his stronger balls. Just push through. One red. Dan will just play the same shot. It's the same shot for both of these players. Just get to the red or green bowl, fall back. That'll be enough.
Well, he's found the line. How's the pace? Wants to bend quickly. Oh, great. It's a great shot. Too red. Makes it a lot more difficult for Darren now. He can still get down to the green bowl. It just slightly narrows the, the angle. Time out. I think he's just going to play it similar down the other hand. Well, can he get back to this chat? What a splendid bowl that is. Darren's brother there in the audience, and his partner. One green. Well, Darren's partner. Darren has four timeouts <laughs> remaining. <laughs> Setting off all rumours there, if I didn't correct that one. That was a very classy bowl. No, it doesn't give Lyndon. You can see what Lyndon can see from the mat there. I know. Very, very Lyndon has four timeouts tight remaining. head here. Look and just play the, as you can see, the front red ball there. If you can just get down to that ball, lift that green ball away. Depends what pace. He has been trying to play this very difficult pace and just playing a bit underneath. Play a bit firmer, just play for the corner. I think that'll be the shot to play. Yeah, lucky. Oh, he's pulled it. How's your look? Way underneath. One shot, Darren Weir. Set score zero two after two ends. Length twenty five and a half meters. This morning, Darren is certainly playing a, a very consistent game. Lyndon just slightly struggling for the line at the moment, and do tend to just suffer a little bit with your pace as well when you're searching for a line. I think Darren's stronger bowls are just slightly playing a better line, you know, at this shorter length. Always just trying to get back that little bit more. Darren getting attacked by <laughs> getting attacked by a little moth there. Oh, a little cheeky touch. Well, that's probably counting another and finished in a very good position.
Two green. Good effort. Takes one away for sure. Get just underneath and finish centre ring. Doesn't want to finish underneath and make a bit of a target. He's well played. Could have just finished where green. that white centre spot is. That would have been absolutely ideal. But it's framed it in a little way. I think Lindell will play for these, even if he gets a corner off that red bull. Could play a very good bowl here and not, not count at all. So I think he's got to play with a bit of pace. Take them both away. Use his own bowl to get back into them. Three shots, Darren Weir. Yeah, just a little bit wide. Set score zero five after three ends. Jack length, 26 metres. Well, just a little bit of a loose start. These are the ends where Lyndon really just needs to take this chance. He hasn't been given many chances this game. Darren's been playing a very professional and you know well thought out couple of sets. This is the chance you need to take. Just wants to get underneath. Again, just drifting by. One green. Oh, well played. Yep. One red. Let's see for number one. One red. So a little chance here for Lyndon just to 
slip this last bowl in for two. Get back into this second set. Well, he's down a good track. Just needs to make sure he gets up to the, the head though. Wants to pass the front red bowl. One shot, Lyndon Sham. Set score one five after four ends. Well, let's see what he does here. Darren's been dominating the 25 and a half, 26 meter length jack for the last, last seven ends now. I think he needs to go an awful lot further, just allow his bowls just to bend that a little bit more, playing with a slightly tighter line bowl. Jack Lane's yep. 29 and a half metres. Playing the full length. One red. Can just slide. Four shorts, all last ball. Your last bowl, 20 inches short of Jack High. Dad will just stay with this, I think. Any side of his own bowl with good, good pace will definitely guarantee him the shot. One red. Not too far away. A nice solid contact on his own bowl. Yeah, that'll guarantee it. Well played. One shot, Darren Weir. Set score 
Let's go one six after five ends. Jack length twenty four meters. One green. may just try and open this up it has got the best back bowl we'll leave Darren quite a bit of room should he hit it but Lyndon does have another bowl left as you can see just needs to hit the target wants it nice and plump oh lucky a lot better though Back to the uh, difficult draw, just slightly guaranteeing you the pace. It goes very, very quick. You only have to just miss the line down that hand by one or two bowls. And one shot, Darren Weir. Way, way underneath. Set score one seven after six ends. Length twenty four and a half meters.
Geschichte der Open Doors. Well, he can't be too far away again. Just wants to maybe run a foot. Guaranteed to get the shot. Yeah. Too red. That's what he needs. Just that little bit of better consistency, really, in his game and string a few ends together. Yeah, this is the problem, though. Darren Weir just keeps... It's closing the door. One green. He's playing some very, very good balls this morning, Darren. Just putting Lyndon under a bit of pressure at times, not being allowed to settle into the game. Well, if this can hurry to the bowl. Doesn't want the jack ideally. Wants to come with it then. Oh, lucky. The bowl is what One he green. wanted. Obviously, any movement on that jack was just taking it a little bit away from the red bowls, but he had to give it a chance. One green. Well, Linda's just having a look at this just to see if there's any possibilities of trying to make a bit of a count. He couldn't draw for could draw for the shot. Five down, you know, two ends to play. The way Darren's playing, that's probably asking just a little bit I too know. much. Lyndon has three timeouts remaining. I'm just wondering if there's any contact using the wide ball, forcing it back and getting rid of a couple of the green balls. Obviously if Darren scores a two here with a bad connection, that is the game over, but sometimes if there's an opportunity you need to take it. Obviously seen something, maybe solid on the green and stay for a pair. Nearly got it. Oh, he's been unlucky. Yeah. It's a well-played bowl. A little bit unfortunate to spin back to the jack. And it's one shot, a, Lyndon one shot Sham. to red. So that's got 2-7 seven after seven ends. Jack length, 26 metres.
Get another very good opening bowl. And again, some good solid draw balls from Darren. Just wondering whether Lyndon may just play down straight for the the split. Yeah, he's going to go for these. Nice split, then run onto the jack would be good. Just for the target. Well, if Darren can just get back to centre ring, that'll be an excellent bowl. Oh, well played. That's a great bowl. Well, game down here, Lyndon. Must get the shot. In order to get oh, the no. shot, he, he needs to land Lyndon into the split eye, split the Magnum. balls away, and then come through with his own bowl. It's either that or he has to play a very, very spot on draw. Yep, change his hand, playing a bit more control pace just to get round Darren Weir's last bowl. He can use his own bowl. It's just not going to make it. No, just slightly Three under shots, the line, and that's going to be match, two more shots to Darren Weir. And he's going to take this semi final to sets to zero. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's all we have time for this morning. Don't forget, join us at 1.30 live on the BBC for the first of our World Open Singles semi-finals. And what a cracking lineup we have for you. First of all, it's going to be the English qualifier, Wayne Wilgris, taking on five times winner Paul Foster, MBE, followed very shortly by Englishman Les Gillett, taking on six times champion Alex Marshall, MBE. And then at 19.30 this evening is the final of the World Under 25s. And it's going to be Daniel Poole against Darrell Weir. Thanks for joining us this morning and we'll be back with you at 1.30 with the BBC. Until then, thank you and a very good morning.